In this quick tip video, we will be showing you how to use the Math Traces feature and the Observe software to generate an enveloped SRS curve for vibration control. Here, I have a time waveform from a model rocket launch. To create a shock response spectrum, I will select Add Graph, scroll down to Shock Response Spectrum, select the trace that I would like to display, and select OK. The Shock Response Spectrum Graph is a feature of the SRS License Key. You can access a free trial or contact your sales representative for a key update. Now what is the SRS? The SRS displays a time waveform's theoretical frequency response to a shock event. It is a tool for developing complex shock test profiles to run on a shaker. Although we often associate the SRS with seismic testing, it has proved to be valuable in many industries for replicating shock events in the lab. Now, it is possible to develop an SRS shaker test profile using recorded data. However, a waveform recording, such as the one here, represents just a single shock event. Using just one event to create a synthesized SRS waveform results in an incomplete description of the shock events that may occur in the field. A better approach is to create a synthetic waveform for multiple data sets. Now during this rocket launch, <coughs> we performed the event three times and recorded each time. So what I'm going to do is pull up the other two recordings in separate instances of Observeview, copy these events, and paste them into the same shock response spectrum. Now to do this, I'm going in, I'm going in each instance of Observeview, selecting the trace, copying using the control C command or right clicking and selecting copy, then pasting the trace to the shock response spectrum. For transient events, the proper way to combine multiple data sets is to find the maximum value at each frequency. This max enveloping technique produces an SRS curve using the maximum acceleration value of the data sets at each frequency. In Observeview, you can display a math function on a graph using the Math Traces feature. We can upload multiple waveform recordings to the software then use a math trace to envelope the data. After, we can copy the SRS curve to vibration view and develop a test profile. Math traces in the 2022.1 software is currently a technology preview. To turn that preview on, you want to go to your settings, select technology previews, and turn math traces on. Once you do so, you will need to restart your instance of Observeview. Once the Math Traces feature is enabled, we can right click on a trace, select Add Math Trace, and the Edit Math Expression dialog will appear. Again, I'm going to be using the maximum value, so I'm going to use the max function. And to add it to my expression, I can double click on that option. Now I'm taking the maximum of my three events. So I'm going to select my first test, my second test, and my third test. Once the dialog approves the expression, I can select OK. And now there's a fourth trace on my shock response spectrum that is the maximum value um, for each trace. To create an SRS test in Vibration View, I'm going to select New Test, select the Shock Response Spectrum option. I'm going to take 
my max enveloped trace from the Observe View, copy, and then in the Breakpoints tab, right click and select Paste Breakpoints from Clipboard. Select OK. And here we have a breakpoint table from our recorded data. Next, I'm going to the SRS tab. I'm going to select a synthesis type. I'm going to select the damped sine waves option because my original time waveform displays a damped sine characteristic. I'm going to exceed my SRS demand by 10%. Then I'm going to select Synthesize and select Iterate More until my curve matches the demand. Then I can select OK. So long as my configuration is set up correctly, I can now run the test.